rich better have my money. That's our top story tonight. The whole country is buzzing following Don Imus's comments on his radio show about the Rutgers University women's basketball team. Awesome some rough girls from Rutgers, man. They got tattoos and some hardcore hoes. <laughs> that's, that's some nappy-headed hoes there. I must then apologize for the comments at length on his radio show this morning. 11 seconds. I'm sorry I did that. Uh, I'm embarrassed that I did that. I did a bad thing. But I'm a good person. And then this afternoon, Imus appeared on the Reverend Al Sharpton's radio program to explain himself and made some more comments that some people say could be just as bad as the original one. It's like the old country song, God may forgive you, but I won't. Jesus may love you, but I don't. No, no, we so are I, don't, I can't Jesus. get any place with you people, no, 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 no. but I you can get some place with Jesus. <laughs> when, no, who no, is you people, Mr. No, Imus? You no, no. and this woman I'm talking to. No. And just a short time ago, CBS Radio announced that Imus has, in fact, been suspended from his radio show for two weeks. Also, NBC News suspended their television simulcast of Imus's program. President of NBC, Steve Kappas, released the following statement. Quote, beginning Monday, April 16th, MSNBC will suspend simulcasting the syndicated Imus in the Morning radio program for two weeks. Now, this comes after careful consideration in the days since his racist, abhorrent comments were made. Don, Don Imus has expressed profound regret and embarrassment and has made a commitment to listen to all of those who have raised legitimate expressions of outrage. In addition, his dedication, in his words, to change the discourse on his program moving forward has confirmed for us that this action is appropriate. Our future relationship with Imus is contingent on his ability to live up to his word. Joining us now with more on this developing story is Dr. Mark Lamont uh, Hill of Temple University, radio talk show host, nationally syndicated Armstrong Williams, and right here in our New York st studio, comedian, radio personality, Patrice O'Neill. All right. What's did, up? How you doing? Welcome. Welcome back. Good to see you. How you doing? Did, did the CBS and NBC do the right thing? No. What are they accomplishing after two weeks? And what are they accomplishing? What are y'all... What are y'all trying Go to after him. Like, <laughs> I don't understand you know, where, you, where, where this is where, going. And, and so, no, seriously, you don't find anything wrong with those comments? It, it's something wrong with the comments, but you act like, like Don Imus and, and uh, Kramer are like malignant spots, but the whole country... You say you. I'm not, I'm just, I didn't even give you my opinion yet. White people. I know what your opinion white is, White people. Yes, it, and that, that whole thing you read was all, like, abhorrent... It, it, uh, 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 well, that's what NBC said. Why are black is saying that, that? That's because they were. That's because those comments were abhorrent, and the and, and the reason why we have to we have to defend these young women is because no one else will. The reason why we have to punish Don Imus is because if we don't stand out and speak, stand up and speak out, no one else will. And comments like this well, will allow hey, will be hey, do, do, we continue to be Dr. mainstream Hill, in public on, space. Well, what if this was your daughter who worked so hard, reached the championship, and some dopey radio host says something like that? You you wouldn't like it. First of all, have you had any of those girls on? I what, do you think, them on. what do you think? And, 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 I have uh, a com the they, they've commented to NBC in New York and they're of furious. Of course, that ain't, that ain't the real. Those are their words. Th that's, what, what do you think they really said when they heard that? They didn't go, oh, that's outrageous. They went, I know he didn't call me no nappy headed hoe. That's what they said. Do I know that cracker didn't say nappy headed hoe. That's what they said. That was, they wasn't outraged. Yeah, but 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 we can't we can't we can't base our indignation on those eight young women. It's quite possible because of the way black women are treated in America that they were used to hearing such things. But it's still inappropriate. We cannot allow our own dignity to be assaulted in that way without a response. And and my 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 response doesn't hinge upon those eight young women who were disrespected. Right, Even if they weren't insulted, hey, hey, Doctor Hill, let me ask you this. All right, so he is yeah. he admits it was wrong, outrageous. These are his words, not mine. Over the yeah. top. He has apologized. He's promised to make good. He's now been suspended. Should he be? Fi Are you saying you want him fired? Absolutely. I think I, I'm, I'm happy that CBS has stood up. I'm happy that the network NBC has stood up and said, look, this is this is punishable. And they're giving him two weeks. But two weeks is insufficient. We cannot allow this type of thing to happen. Giving him two weeks only enables someone else to do the same thing. All the attention he's garnered, all the promotion he's going to get, all the free publicity. They say no, no. Uh, publicity is bad publicity. He's going to have a job. At the end of the day, he should not get Armstrong. No and then we'll have... get back to you, Patricia. Armstrong? Well, listen, um, w what he said was disgusting. It was abhorrent. It was, it was terrible. It was, it was very offensive. But, but the sad news is, is that this is what Don Imus does. Um, he said things about Venus and Serena Williams. He said things about Gwen Eiffel. 
He said things about others. Should he, he talked be fired? about his bosses. He's talked about Jews. He talks about everybody. This you, is what he does. I'm strying to tell Welcome back to our show. Do you, please, do you think please, it's appropriate? May I, I, did I, I did not interrupt you. I did not interrupt you. May I finish? Yes, Thank sir. you. He talked about all these people. They have allowed this to go on. I don't believe in censorship. I believe in the ultimate freedom of speech. I think the marketplace should decide. Uh, certainly, CBS Radio and everyone else has a right to suspend him, to send a message that after many warnings, they will not tolerate this any longer. But firing him, and then the other thing we're doing, we're setting another precedent. Don Imus is not the only shock jock who used this kind of terminology and these racist remarks. There are other people that use it. You, you set a dangerous precedent when you say that someone like Don Imus should be fired because there are a lot of people out there who have not to look like Don Imus. It's easy to fire well, people strong. like Don Imus and well, Savage and others. We but we've got to hold everybody to the same standard. Well, the we plan? must let's establish do it. what is the standard. Let's fire anyone who makes racist remarks. Let's fire all of them. Hold on, Armstrong. Let's fire all of them then. I have no problem with that. And then what? Are you offended? I'm not a doctor, because I'm not a, a first of all, no, nobody except for me and the, and the, the good doctors under 60, and <laughs> you, none of you know what funny is. Like, yeah. a doc, the doctor... Was, that fun, uh, was, but, it, was it funny what I... To say funny to me. nappy-headed was it fun, hoe was it funny? is hilarious, but in, in, in well, context, that's tragic, of, but hold on, in hold on. context hold on. of a comic... You should be able to explore any words you want to say. He right. messed up. Would it be different if a black person said it? Of course. I could say nappy-headed hoe all day. <laughs> but right. I want to be able to call white girls straight-headed hoes anytime I feel like right. it. Right. Anytime. And would you? Of course. And would you, should, be, should you be punished for it? Of course not. Right. So, Dr. Hill, are we overreacting here? I mean, look, what he said was inappropriate, was wrong, he's apologized. At what point do we say, okay, how about a little forgiveness? He's, you know, been contrite. He went on Reverend Sharpton's show today. He I, realizes I didn't he find did him wrong. Contrite on Reverend Do we keep punishing show. the guy? He's crying. Well, 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 first, let me say, I didn't find him contrite on, on Reverend Sharpton's show. I found contrite. him arrogant. I found him, I found him somewhat belligerent. What do you want? You and, want and his you and, and, and his you people comment to me really, really underscored the fact that he's not all that apologetic and that deep beneath him is a severe character flaw that's directly connected We're to all the character flaw. Do doctor, doctor, uh, you think? Ab absolutely. Absolutely. And if your character flaws were uttered in such a way that they cause severe abuse to people in, in full public view on a daily basis, which some may argue. Do you know do, that anybody was really abused here? Fired. Was anybody really abused oh. here? Absolutely. I think that's what we need to look at black women in their particular position in America. When they're yeah. referred to as hoes, when they're referred to as the B word on a constant basis, we need to challenge that. Not just when it comes from Don Imus, when it comes from anyone. Right, now, you know what, it was coming from dude, but listen, if we start challenging that word, right, and, they, and we start to try to ban the word nigga and ban the word nappy headed hoes, right, wh let me ask you how? Uh, who's going to suffer in the long run? It ain't going to be white people. You don't say nappy headed hoe on a regular basis in the street. I might. I say right, home, not, maybe not nappy. That's some new, <laughs> right. something new for me. But, but, and home is but, not but racial. With all, but, but with everything going on in the world, why are we fighting so vigorously to defend right, the right we, to call we, ourselves we got a lot, we the N-word or hoes? We got a lot of ground Th to cover, issue. not the least of yeah. which is their double standard. We're going to delve into that when we get back. We'll pick up this. Why is until the same kind of outrage, let me ask you, in the black community, when, when uh, rappers and other people in the black community, athletes in the black community, uh, defame and demean black women? I am one of them worse names than I ever did. Another clip there of uh, Don Imus from his appearance on Al Sharpton's radio show today. We now continue with Dr. Mark Lamont Hill. Armstrong Williams works with my friends over there at WWRL in New York. And Patrice O'Neill. Armstrong, you know, he apologized. He's contrite. Did he say the right things, or was the apology, in your view, worse than what he initially said, as was suggested earlier here tonight? Well, you know, the, the guy's in a state of shock. He did not expect this. He's done this for so long. And another thing about Don Imus, you know, I, I can never forget during the time of Hurricane Katrina that he was one of the few people who had a national audience in this country who spoke out and said, what is wrong with America? Why are they singling out these people for this kind of treatment and this kind of neglect? He said, there's only one conclusion that I can come to is the fact that they have black faces. And this is not right. This is not who America is. And I got to tell you, I can't forget that. You can be outraged with him, and you should be outraged with him, but you got to take his, the man's life in balance. Okay? He's one of, the, one of the few people who brought attention to the plight of those people in New Orleans, and they happen to be black. I mean, so it's easy to, to make someone out to be a racist. What he said was very racist, was very bigoted, but I look at the whole Don Imus, and, and he's done some good. Right. We should be outraged. Right. NBC and CBS did what they had to do. And Dr. Still, Hill, shouldn't we look at what in somebody's heart and what their true intent is and truly what they've done? He's got a camp. He helps kids. 10% of the kids in his camp are black. I mean, do you want, you want to end the man's career over this comment? 
I don't want to end his career. I don't want him on the street. I simply don't want him to have this particular job. What I'm job sure can he have? land on his feet. What job can I, he have? That's, that, that's not my concern. What I'm saying is that this particular post that he well, has, he, 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 let, let me finish this point. He made this point. He used his job irresponsibly, and he should be fired for it. Well, that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying he should never work again. If someone wants to hire him, that's their prerogative. Then you'll pick it the next guy that they, they, he works for, the next person he works well, for. Patrice, I mean, I'm just I, saying, I, I'm just saying, I, I, no. I know funny. And I know <laughs> if he had yeah. said nappy-headed athletes that would nappy that okay? headed young women you why is go, that okay why is no it's not okay if he had said We'd that just nappy offended. headed athlete would have been is he using an adjective to, a, a, i don't get that yeah. but to say nappy headed hoe is so ridiculous you yeah. know he was trying to be funny well, you that's know it. it i mean you heard but, the tone of voice he was laughing he, wasn't he didn't intend to hurt and he realizes he was wrong Armstrong, he knows he made a mistake, and as you said earlier, you know, the free marketplace can decide whether or not this helps him or hurts him. Does pulling him off the air, what, stop other people from ever going over the line, which anybody in broadcast can do any moment of any day when you're in front of a live mic all the time? But, but the problem is, people cross the line every day. Anybody else other than people who have huge audiences and names could have said this, and they could have been of a different hue. And nothing would have been said. It would have not even made the radar screen. It's because of who, what Don Imus re represents, and he just happens to be a white man in America. And there's just, and they're the, they're the individuals in this country that cannot use racism in right, any me, uh, form, in any kind of way. This is, it's a double and standard. Should, and look, hang on, hang on I, I a second. I don't want you to misinterpret my trying to defend him, but there I is a double standard Hill. here. Doctor Hill, I want to ask you this question. Um, you ask, you want, you want him fired from this job. Absolutely. All right. We, Absolutely. we, we, we know the history. The two people that are leading the effort now against Don Imus are the Reverend Jackson and the Reverend Al Sharpton. Now, we Absolutely. know in the case of the Reverend Jackson, we know his comments uh, about Jews in New York. We know his admission about the treatment of food of certain customers when he used to, you know, work at a restaurant. We know the white interloper comments of, of Al Sharpton. We know Al Sharpton said, if the Jews want to get it on, tell them to pin their yarmulkes back and come on over to my house. Have you ever asked for their firing? Firing from what? The, when, in 1988, when Reverend Jackson made the comment uh, about Hymetown, he paid dearly for it. He also apologized. I didn't ask, I didn't ask you that. I asked, for sir, it. sir, wait, 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 wait Dr. Hill, wait, wait, You're saying wait, wait, fired, fired from I what? Asked, do you, do you what? think they deserve to be on the national scene leading the effort against Don Imus, considering their background? Okay, that's a different question. Um, absolutely. Absolutely. They do. This particular, I think Doctor, anyone do you who see is, what he's trying to do? That's what they do. He's I trying mean, to make us do. hypocrites. That's what I'm saying. To, Let it's, the, not a, it's, it's, you, it's not about hypocrisy. It's about, it's about challenging <laughs> someone who clearly what? spoke out in racist <laughs> and sexist fashion. You it's, know. It's, it's, the, issue here isn't, the issue here isn't Reverend Jackson, nor is it Reverend Sharpton. The person who should be under scrutiny here is Don Imus. Uh, no, 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 no. The people the leading the effort. No, no. Here's the difference. If you're saying he should be fired, why shouldn't yes. they be? Why shouldn't they, in their, in your mind, be in the same category? If you can explain that to our audience, I'm, I'm all ears. The, the, the same category is what they, they have both paid dearly for comments that they've made that well, they've regretted not. when they're still made out there them. protested oh, and they're still in the media. Nothing happened to them. There's been no impact okay, negatively that, that, on their that, careers. That, that's absolutely the same. What do you want? You want to jump? Go ahead. Because I see what you're doing. What am I doing? Because the, the seriousness of the doctor is what. The down, he's he's so it's the, the fact is let you're saying the doctor's a hypocrite. You're no, 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 not a hypocrite. Ah, issue. Tricky, but, but what I'm saying I mean, is you're, you're over here celebrating calling people hoes and thinking it's funny to me. That's oh the man, argument. stop that, it. That's the issue. Stop it. You're being too serious. First of all, when well, was nappy headed hoe? Wait a minute. When was nappy headed hoe ever of term that was subjugating to black folks? No, no. Nappy headed hoe. When back in the are, 20s are, and they, during slavery. Look, I, I, it is offensive. And I miss his himself. Here's my question. Treated that hey, way. Hang on a second, Doctor. Let me, let, Patrice, in all seriousness here, if, if this is how Imus is going to be treated, what about the people leading the charge? Is it fair? You say, well, you're trying to create that, this. Yes, is there hypocrisy? The, divide and conquer. No. That's why to... I'm not to, dividing and conquer. I'm no, saying Sean, there, Sean, to prevent Sean, it from Sean, being that, that let him, him say what he wants so I can say what I want. You want everybody to say everything. You don't care. Yes! All right, but that's, that's, you're more, you're being, you know, real and honest. But I'm saying, are they being hypocritical? And sexist. Are they being no. hypocritical? Hang on a second. There's nothing hypocritical I'm asking about. Patrice. Look, man, I'm sorry. if you tell somebody something, how to say something, and and you have made mistakes in your life, that's, it, it's, I, I can't use hypocrite. Why I got to go back to the black community, Sean. We're going to pick it Sean, up right there. Don't go. We continue now with Dr. Mark Lamont Hill, Armstrong Williams, and Patrice O'Neill. All right, Dr. Hill, I want to go back to this issue we were discussing earlier. The two people leading the charge, the Reverend Jackson and, and the Reverend uh, Al Sharpton, and they both have a history of saying outrageous things. 
You know, we, I don't know if I'd say outrageous. I don't. You don't. You don't point, think. You don't think Jaime Town's outrageous? Uh, I think it's an unfortunate statement. He unfortunate statement. Before he explained the contest, it's it, 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 it's it's a problematic statement. I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to to support the statement. I'm saying he's he's apologized. That you was don't 19 think years the ago. term white interloper, sir, leading into that incendiary event that took place on Freddy's at 125th. You don't think white interlopers offensive and racist? It's interesting that you're saying that these people didn't pay a penalty, yet 19 years later we're still talking about the comments. Clearly they are playing, paying a public penalty. That's the same thing no, I want to see I, happen I'm to just Don trying Irons. to understand. You want this guy fired, but it's acceptable for the people that have this history to you know, lead this effort an, against this guy. And I, I'll tell you what I find it. I find it. Look, I, Patricia and I were talking in the break. Either everybody's wrong and everybody gets condemned. You'll only condemn them Don Imus. Will you condemn the Reverend Sharpton and the Reverend Jackson for their incendiary remarks over the years? A absolutely. Any, any, anyone who makes a hurtful or incendiary comment, no, I, I said think specifically we need to Reverend Jackson and Al Sharpton. Will you condemn them tonight as I'm you have done anyone, Imus? I'm saying anyone and everyone, yes. I, I, think, I think making You're having an, a hard an, time an, with this. You really. I think I, there's actually, a, no, he's too distinguished. I, I think you're, have, I think you're having a hard time keeping the focus no, on Don I'm thinking, Imus. And you're no, finding, I think you're making the scapegoat. The difference is I'm consistent. The diversionary tactics. I'm saying it's wrong for everybody. Al Sharpton instead of Don Imus. No, I'm not, because it's wrong for everybody. There's no bearing on what Don if it has no bearing on what Don Imus did. No, I'm, say, I'm saying it's wrong. But I'm also saying I think it's hypocritical. The guys that are leading the way have a history of making equally offensive remarks, but they seem I, I to be getting a pass. And now, it, 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 they, in they an ironic sense... If, if, Jesse at, Jackson, if Jesse Jackson got a pass, we wouldn't be talking about it 19 years later. Oh, but uh, you, you're having a hard time saying that it's appropriate to, to, for hi, this guy to be I'm leading the effort. You don't find any irony there or any hypocr hypocrisy there? Well, you know they're going to be, you're going to be no. using OJ for the next 50 years to talk about, you know, to compare it to any other white guy who does you something You said something wrong. in the break, though, and I think you're right. Either everybody's wrong everybody's or everybody wrong. gets to say what they want. That, either I, you, everybody says what, because the word does not... The word nigga does not mean what it did in 1920, no matter what but you that say word and when is, you say but, it. But you and I had this debate once before. That word is meant to hurt. And Period. It, and it could hurt. Yes. But you just so saying it doesn't hurt me because that implies I that you say better anything. than me. You're, what are you pointing at me for? I if I call anything. you a cracker, it never meant nothing to you. It yeah, was almost I, like, listen, thank you. I, I have known you for a lot of years. Uh, for, for, for a short time now. We've, we've debated it. Uh, no, but we've, we've known each other. You could basically say anything to me, and I know everything you're saying is meant in humor. Not everything, but I, I know how to... To me... It, it by the way, that's funny. not true when I talk to him. But let me ask you that. <laughs> but, but, but you don't get to be the arbiter of what's funny. Well, how can you all be the arbiter of what's funny for black Patrice women? Is no, funny. I am. But here, here's the main I question. Am. Let, let, me get Arm, let me get Armstrong back in here. Based on what you said here. tonight, I don't find you the arbiter either. Armstrong... Yeah, but you're, arbit you're being an arbiter just for... Like, they painting you into a corner. You don't even, like, realize that, that your whole seriousness is make, is, put, is messing you up. And now this you got to you gotta commit to saying that Al Sharpton and and. I'm not going to come on national television. You had to commit. She's in soft shoe and talking about how this isn't a serious. That's this is funny. where the problem this is. This is a serious. But it's 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 now. This is what they do. Who's they? They make us fight. Who's Who? they? Who does? When, when he goes soft shoe, that's a, the, now, who, who that's more who, insulting to me what? than what? nappy headed hoe. Is that's when black people call each other words like that, soft shoe house nigga. Get out of here. You know better than that, doc. Sir, the point, the, the, the issue here for me tonight is Don Imus's comments, and all we've done is divert the. No, I think the issue, Dr. Hill, is who people. decides what's offensive. What's offensive? Is it, I mean, and who is it offensive to? And who's why, why getting hurt? Start, and who is the start, arbiter of what offensive is? Why don't we talk to the aggrieved people? No one asked that question. When, and if when they're Mel not Gibson offended, you want to give Don Imus his job people, back? If they're when, not offended? When, when, when Mel, when Mel Gibson made his comments, clearly Jewish people right. were offended, and they should Why have been. Why didn't he call so to say that they should step aside? When Bill, Maher, when, Bill, when Bill Maher lost his job with ABC, right, we people run, responded guys. because pe people were Doctor, offended. Why can't black women be just as compelling a victim? Thank you. Patrice, good to see you. Thanks for